Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this Ethereum price update. In this video we're gonna have an overlook over the Ethereum price in the bigger picture and of course also go into the lower time frames. And this is also our subscription video for our $10 worth of Bitcoin sponsored by Bityard. So shout out to all the people over there on Bityard to make this uh, possible. And if you don't know Bityard, Bityard is the number one exchange to trade with US dollar Tether. So if you have some Tether on the sideline, then make sure to open up an account here on Bityard and trade here Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage with your tether so you can trade everything you want without even owning the coins and if you need an account here on bityard then use the link that you find down below here in the video description to support the channel of course and don't forget here on bityard the more you trade the more bonus you will get so you can get here up to 258 dollars tether in bonus the more you trade the more you will get and if you tune in here every day into the exchange you can also withdraw every day a little bit of tether completely for free just go here where it says promotion daily mining and when you click here on this bottom where it says mining you can immediately get here some free tether you can withdraw it of course but also you can use it to trade here and you can also download the app here if you want to trade with your mobile phone of course it doesn't matter if you have apple or android they both have uh, it on the on the um, um, place where you can download it all right and now let's start here with ethereum we start with the weekly time frame because i know ethereum is still looking very bullish and it has a lot to go to the upside so we have still early stages here for ethereum since we bottomed here at 79 dollars the thing is that if bitcoin is gonna have here a possible dump most likely on bitcoin we also gonna have a possible dump on the ethereum price if bitcoin is gonna have a major correction then be prepared that also on ethereum uh, we could see a possible retracement back down to previous resistance which now could be acting as a new support if here this 483 dollars was the top for now since we bought them for the long term i'm still very bullish on ethereum but i still think if here we're gonna have a possible correction to the downside then watch out here for this possible move towards our target here of the 0.618 fib line and as you can see here this fibonacci retracement gives you here a price level of around 230 to 250 dollars for a possible retracement if this was the top here based from the bottom of 79 dollars and here the top of 40 88 dollars we could have a possible retracement back down to the 0.618 fib line and that would mean that we will see potentially prices again lower than 300 dollars if we have a complete retracement back to this target which in my opinion is still very possible to come but for now it looks like that we already had here a healthy correction towards here the 0.382 fib line and we're gearing up here for another leg to the upside at least in the lower time frames if this is gonna happen then this is good of course for ethereum but as long as we are not taking out this high here at around 488 dollars then i'm pretty convinced that we could see possible retracements back down here to this price level also to retest this old resistance which now should be acting as a support since we had this breakout here from this 240 dollars we didn't come down to test this new support and that's why i think if we're gonna have a major correction in the bitcoin price most likely also here on the ethereum price we're gonna see a major correction down to these uh, levels down here between the 0.5 and the 0.618 fib line you can also see that the rsi after being very overbought cooled off now here towards the 50 level but we still have some room left here to the downside to test the 50 in the rsi so that's why i think even though we could see a possible push to the upside here uh correction towards these levels is still in the cards as long as we're not taking out here this high of 40 488 dollars 
And if you have a look into my own indicator currently, you can see that we had a sell signal here. Currently, we also have seen this play out here. We came down to the 20 weekly moving average in the Ethereum price, but also here you can see that we could still have some room left to the downside, also potentially to go and test this area here, which is also coinciding with our previous resistance. And now it's a new support here, 230 dollars and if we go over to the daily time frame you can see that we are still struggling here to break through the 20 daily moving average at 380 dollars if we're gonna have here a possible close above the 20 daily moving average then i'm gonna be again more bullish for ethereum because in that case most likely we're gonna head towards here these previous tops of around 480 dollars maybe even go higher if you're able to take it out because here in the daily we got a buy signal the problem is only really that currently the 20 daily is giving us resistance and also we are right now at the 50 level in the RSI and the daily so it's really gonna depend how we're gonna close the next couple of days above or below the 20 daily moving average and see if we are able to break through here the 50 level in the RSI and if we go over to the four hour time frame, you can see that also here we are moving in this nice upwards moving channel. Currently the resistance is right here at the 200 moving average at $400. That's why I think it is very likely that we could go up here to test this level before maybe another correction to the downside towards the bottom here of $360. And then of course also see if we're able to bounce from it or not but as long as we're staying in this channel we don't have a clear breakout where we're gonna head to next so we can bounce up and down here within this channel so between 360 and 400 dollars before we're gonna see a clear breakout to the upside here or to the downside because even though this looks bullish for now ethereum the 200 moving average is holding here right at the uh, resistance point and if you're getting rejected here um, we could be in here for a massive move to the downside because the 20 and 50 moving averages right now are right now are below the 200 and that is actually quite bearish for the ethereum price and if we go over to the one hour here in the very low time frames you can also see here that we are respecting here this channel the good thing is that currently here in the one hour we are moving above all the moving averages which is a good fine good thing also the 200 moving average is right here at our support so it's gonna be depend how the four hour candles are gonna close if you're able to break through here to the upside or not but if you want to take a safe bet here if you want to trade here on bityard for sure for a breakout trade here if the breakout is confirmed then you can do a breakout trade here on bityard with some tether go long if we break out here from the 400 dollar level or go short if we lose the 350 dollar level because in that case we could see a massive move to the downside potentially towards 250 dollars and if you're able to break through here to the upside then watch out for the previous high here at 488 dollars so overall you can see that you can do here in the next breakout of ethereum quite nice massive gains especially if you have some tether on the sideline you can trade it here on uh, bityard and thanks to the risk manager that you have here that you can already set in a take profit and a stop loss uh, you will not get liquidated so basically the risk is very low and the potential gains are very high here on bityard if you want to trade with some tether if you took out profit somewhere and you have some tether on the sideline then bityard is the exchange for you and here you can also trade oil uh, silver gold and so on you can trade derivatives as well here on bityard with your tether without kyc nothing so just register with the link that you find down below here in the video description you support the channel and without kyc nothing you can easily start trade everything you want here all right guys so don't forget put here your comment and your bitcoin address on this video on the youtube channel very important moon up the likes and also subscribe to the channel very much appreciated so we're gonna see us all in the next one i'm gonna wrap it up for now my friends bye